hi and welcome back to the dangers of dating elder men that's men of an advanced age it's not illegal okay if you ever find yourself in defense of your relationship with this statement my advice would be to just stop comprehend what you're saying consider its implications and connotations take a step back reassess the situation that you're in and reevaluate yourself you may be a 16 year old in a relationship with a 48 year old male or you may be a young woman in her 20s in a relationship with an elder man in his 60s these relationships by nature are inherently dangerous and exploitative just because something is not illegal does not make it morally acceptable. Now, you may be legally an adult, but fundamentally, you are still an emotionally developing young person. Whereas, at such a vastly advanced age of his emotional development, what is his excuse? Now, the law exists because at the ages of 16 and 18, you're considered conscientious enough to reason. And you can drink, you can smoke, you can engage in all kinds of vices. You can basically, you're free to go out there and make a shit ton of mistakes that ultimately you will learn from and you will improve and develop as a person emotionally. Also, it's multifaceted. Also, it exists. For example, if you're a 19-year-old male in a relationship with a 16-year-old. Now, if it wasn't for the laws as they are right now, one party is legally an adult, the other would be considered a child. However, they are peers. They're essentially age peers. They're both teenagers. And this is why the law exists, to be treated with sensitivity and sensibility. Um, the law does not exist to be exploited. No law exists to be exploited. For example, as I've already mentioned, a 48-year-old man dating a 16-year-old girl, which is a child. Now, unfortunately, in the eyes of the law, you lose your protection when you're 18, and you're essentially thrown to the wolves. You're viewed as an adult. However, you need to stop to consider that you're ultimately still a developing young person, way up until your 30s and beyond. At his advanced age, he's already developed emotionally. He can recognize the inherent naivety within you. He knows, because he's been there, he was that age once, he knows that you're still an emotionally developing young person. And he's being exploitative of this by being anywhere fucking near you. Now, the problem is, when you're in your teens and twenties, you obviously have an inherent defiance and you want to prove people wrong. And you may be uh, intellectual, however, intellectual capacity is not tantamount to emotional growth. Emotional growth and development is something that can only come from years of experience. That's how you grow. It takes time. So if you're a young developing person in your teens and twenties, and you think you know everything because you consider yourself intellectual, you don't. You have a lot to learn. This man has gone through all of that. He's at a completely different stage in his life. There's all kinds of other variables as well, like uh, vocationally, career, just at completely different stages in their life. So already, from the inception of the relationship, you are presented with such an unhealthy imbalance within the relationship, and it presents so many dangers. Um, exploitation, manipulation, it's just, you're running a risk to get involved with somebody much older than you. You're running a risk. And 98% of the time, it's not going to be a healthy outcome. And you have to stop to consider like the people around you who are showing concern. They're showing concern because they know that you're taking a huge risk by being in this relationship. They know. They care about you. 
And if you are in a relationship with a man who is much, much your elder, you have to empathize with the people around you and why they would be concerned, why they wouldn't validate that relationship, why they wouldn't approve. You have to stop to empathize. Why? But um, we're going to stop right now because I'd like us to consider how does he relate? How does he relate to a young female of a completely different generation with completely different frames of reference? How can he relate to you and your issues, the issues that you as a young female face? Either he's just humoring you, placating you, or he somehow does relate, in which case he's emotionally and mentally regressive. Either way, these are huge, huge red flags. Why is there a notable absence of female age peers in his life? Why does he not relate to them? You know, why can he not hold down a stable relationship? Why is there so much instability? And this leads me on to another point that I wish to make. The language that he uses towards you in regards to sexual activity. Um, the vulgarity in his language. Does he proposition you with hardcore sex acts that to you as a young female wouldn't seem questionable with somebody your own age? But you have to question when it's coming from somebody of such an advanced age, what's actually going on here? Does he try to take photographs of you when he's engaging in sexual intercourse with you? Um, does he proposition you with very, very niche sexual requests? Does it feel subjugatory? If, if this is the case, you have to stop and consider what would happen if this man propositioned a female age peer um, with these requests. It's liable that they would not acquiesce to these requests because these women are at such an advanced stage in their emotional development they have more self-respect and frankly they're likely not going to put up with it and in most cases i've found this is actually what's happening this is why they're interested in young females they forge a connection where they relate to you as a person they see you as a three-dimensional person often putting emphasis on the fact that they see you as a woman and you're advanced for your age all the while knowing that you're not because they can see these naivety naiveties in you that they're actively exploiting and the true motivation is sexual because otherwise why do they not just see you as a daughter or a friend why is it not platonic there is this fundamental sexual desire uh, sexual objectification that drives it please consider that um so yeah, I think that's everything that I wanted to cover in this video. I usually speak very fast in my videos, in this one I've chosen not to because, um, you know, I feel like I might be more relatable if people can see me being a bit more vulnerable. This is something that deeply, deeply affects me. In every day of my life, I see uh, every young female that I care about being advanced upon by elder men, and uh, they destroy young women. Um, but, you know, I'm here complaining about it. I'm not the one who's subjected to this bullshit. You know, um, I know what young women have to go through on a daily basis. It's unrelenting. Um, the harassment, the advancements of these elder men, um, it's just awful. But in the right place at the right time, with the right variables, the right set of circumstances, the right victim, when everything's just right, these relationships can happen. And all I can say is, I just hope that it goes well for you. If you want to defy me and prove me wrong, great. But I still think no matter what the outcome is, you could have developed emotionally. Let's say you develop in this relationship. Um, I feel you could have done that anyway, without the intervention of this elder male. Because in most examples, uh, the elder male ultimately stunts the development of these young females and um, I just I just hope that you can come out of the situation without any real psychological trauma and um, if you have recently extricated yourself from a relationship of this nature um, I just want you to know that it wasn't your fault it never is um, you were young fundamentally you were young 
and uh, naive. There is an inherent naivety within you, and there's nothing wrong with that. You were young. Uh, this man knew better. Um, so yeah, just stay safe, and you know, if I can help just one person with these videos, then you know, I I feel like I've done something. So you know, I'll always be here posting these videos and trying to trying to help. So until next time, I've been Jay, and um, yeah, take care. Bye.